Hello and welcome to the Strategic Bookkeeper Podcast. In today's episode, I absolutely want to give you value around the things that you need to do in your practice and I want to connect it to uh, like a kind of a question or a comment that I had from one of our amazing community members and look, it's around the I don't have time to spend a year with you, Jeannie. Okay, but I really want to. So absolutely going to connect this to what you need to do regardless of whether you come into the program. However, I definitely want to address the fact that it's not really about spending a year with me. (laughs) I'm going to be here for a year to help you. Yeah. Uh, And everybody's going to need different kinds of help. It's about the five elements across the seven ingredients, yeah? So it's about education, assets, implementation, team and support across the five ingredients in my methodology, okay? Because what I give you access to from day one when you come into the program is going to help you from day one to uh, build your thriving practice, yeah, delight your clients and live your dream on your terms. And so within the first four weeks, we're spending no more time, yeah, than you currently spend in your practice. This is golden the way I have structured it, yeah. So don't give me any more time in your day than you're really spending right now, yeah. I'm going to tell you about that in the podcast and I am going to help you do better in business. I am going to help you move the needle. Why did I structure it that way? Because I'm a busy multitasking mama, yeah, and I've structured it for the busy multitasking parent. So let's jump into this short but impactful podcast. I'm Jeannie Savage, the strategic bookkeeper. I'm an award-winning entrepreneur, author, speaker, trainer, and coach. After 13 years in practice and after scaling into a lifestyle business where I could choose my own adventure, I'm sharing my secrets to success. My secret sauce recipe on how to build a thriving practice, delight your clients and ultimately live your dream on your terms. This podcast is a companion to my book. In each weekly episode, I'll share strategies for scaling and success. This is your time to shine, to step up, to become a strategic bookkeeper and enjoy all the benefits it brings to you and your clients. Okay, my friends. So as I said, I was just um, talking to a community member and she had said to me that um, she absolutely loves everything that we are presenting, that there is nothing really globally that hits the mark like what we are giving you. And you know what? Podcast interruption. Uh, just to let you know, if you did not join the program when the doors open on August 1, uh, and they opened for 14 days before uh, my team and I rocked up live, <laughs> uh, it doesn't mean that you can't join in. The program is evergreen. Okay, so we have a way to bring you into the program uh, seamlessly, beautifully, so that you can absolutely start working with me to build your thriving practice, delight your clients and live your dream on your terms. If you are keen to know how that works, just drop us an email or ask in the private Facebook group. I'm always really grateful for that because then I can help the many as well as the one or simply use the link that will drop in the show notes or go to the website, pretty easy, and jump into the program because two things. Number one, it comes with a money-back guarantee, yeah, Uh, or let's say three things. Number two, I do not get you to spend extra time working with me. This is about on the job, yes, I've done other podcasts on that. And number three, that money back guarantee, it kicks in after a year, but my expectation is to help you get the ROI really early, yeah, so that that pays for the program. But yes, we're going to spend a year together. So back to the podcast. After spending 14 years and then the last four years building this for you and spending bucket tons of money and giving you everything that I would have dreamed to have been given at the beginning of my journey or within the first five fuck-up years that I talk about, yeah, in my book, uh, 
it is not really a surprise to me that the feedback from the community is, holy cow, Jeannie, there is nothing like this worldwide, yeah? I am a bookkeeper just like you that built this for you off the back of my two top human needs, growth and contribution. So being able to contribute to your success uh, absolutely sets my soul on fire, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about why I want you in the program, even if you have not one minute to spare in your day, okay? Because actually, I don't expect you to go to your computer and to dedicate hours uh, specifically to my program, yeah? Get all of this done without actually dedicating extra time, okay? So here's how it works. So everything that you need to learn is in the academy and we use Kajabi, which is the gold standard of training academies and I'm a trainer and assessor, right? So you've got this academy with everything in it. Listen to everything audio. What does that do? Oh my God, it saves you bucket loads of time. Every minute I can save you in your day, I am like, yes, right? <laughs> so if you do basically anything during your day where you can listen, yeah, then you're going to be able to digest everything I need you to learn on the fly while you're going for a walk, while you're doing the dishes, uh, while you're having a lunch break. Please do take a lunch break. Please don't multitask while you're eating, yeah? Uh, you can spare 10 to 20 minutes to eat without being at your computer. It's just like the worst thing you can do. And taking a break is uh, a strategic way to do better in business, okay? Trust me now, believe me later. So if you can just give me 20 minutes a day while you are doing other things like cooking, you know, I probably like to listen to music when I'm cooking. <laughs> um, my ideal is going for a walk, but anything, yeah? Reflecting on my journey, if I was at the play center with my son when he was young, because we used to do that, or you're at, you know, something else where you can just mute everything and listen to the content, that's all I need from you. Okay, the next thing is while you are working and you are at your desk doing your bookkeeping work for your clients or anything else that you do in your working time, you're going to have the academy open, yeah, and you are going to use what I give you on the fly while you're working over that year, yeah. So it's not about finding extra time to work with me, it's about me giving you this um, beautiful academy full of the stuff that you need to build your thriving practice, yeah, to delight your clients and to ultimately get that income and lifestyle, okay? So let's talk a bit about, let's go down the rabbit hole of what that looks like a little bit, okay? For example, so we're imagining that you're at your computer, yeah? So you've been listening to all the podcasts and you're like, yes, this is amazing, I get it. Uh, and you've got that kind of repeating a bit in your mind. Let's say in this case, a prospective client has come through and said, hi, Joe Schmo accountant referred me to you and um, I need this and I need that and I need this and I need that. Boom, you're in the academy and you are going to use the conversion process. You are going to use the needs analysis. You are going to whip up your million dollar storybook brochure in no time, right? And the reason I call it the million dollar storybook brochure is I believe that you would never be able to create that even with a marketing team on your own, okay? Because I have created that as the leader, yeah, of our organization with a marketing team behind me and I've second guessed the hell out of a team of marketing professionals the entire way. So unless you've got a 14 year bookkeeper veteran on your marketing um, team with all your mix of agencies, there's no way you could create this, not even for twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. But if I had to put a fee on it, yeah, $20,000 and you'll get something that maybe is 10% as good as what I've created, okay? So you've got a prospective client that's come through. You say, okay, yes, I would love to help you out. Can I give you a call back, uh, you know, in an hour? Can I give you a call back in three hours? Can I give you a call? When's a good time for us to do a 15-minute needs analysis? In the time between that person calling you and you doing the needs analysis, you're going to be able to do what you need to on board and retain that client without price as a priority. Yeah, you're even going to get in the Facebook group and go, Jeannie, help. 
yeah? And I'm going to be so excited. So that's one example of how you would use the academy and everything in the program in order to get a massive result. Now, just out of that one prospective client, you could get your return on investment in the entire program back, okay? Because I am going to help you with how you onboard and retain them as a forever client without price as a priority, okay? So another example is, so you're at your computer and let's say you are on the seesaw strategy, which is the uh, delivery hustle. So delivery being I do the work, hustle being I go out and get the work. So let's say you're doing the work and then you identify oh, I really need to get some more work because I need to make more profit, okay? So let's say you're doing that. Well, first of all, as soon as you come into my program, I'm going to help you see that getting more work is not the answer to making more profit, yeah? It, the answer to making more profit is to be more strategic, yeah? So the old work smarter, not harder, but I actually give you the devil is in the detail around exactly the step-by-step -step that makes that happen, yeah, it is absolutely to be more profitable, which is the source of the problems you face. Like if we play the why game, yeah, if we play the why game, why do I need more clients, more profit? Why do I need standard operating procedures? Quality process retention. All roads lead to more profit. So why do I need to go to networking to find new clients to get more profit, yeah? If we play the why game, it's about profitability that three part that I talk about, thriving practice, delighted clients, your dream on your terms, your dream on your terms is income and lifestyle. That is profitability, yeah, and time. Profit and time, profit and time. And so when you're thinking, ah, oh, I need to find new clients because as Jeannie has explained to me, I need more profit, then you would pause and take a breath for a moment, yeah, and you would do some of the work that I give you. You would leverage the shit out of the brand <laughs> that I license you to use, yeah, and the brand assets, and then you would use an attraction strategy that would not only bring you more clients, it would begin to build up an invisible pipeline, yeah? That would be like throwing seeds into the ground that would slowly come up and be nurtured into fruit trees that would give you the fruit, okay? So we would get you off slowly but surely. You would move from the seesaw strategy where, you know, you, you do the work and then you get the work to the beautiful pipeline strategy where you are leveraging my brand and my brand assets to create an absolute Rolls Royce of a brand sphere with a unique selling proposition and more in order to, over time, have you go, how did that happen? I don't do the seesaw anymore. While I'm doing the work, the inquiries just seem to come through. That is, my friends, the science and art of sales and marketing. Specifically, I've done that for bookkeepers that I will help you move to until one day, just like, the client that I worked with uh, eons ago, like 13 years ago, that was the one that really I created the strategic bookkeeping methodology, the five step in the eyes of the client. Just like he said to me when we pulled an extra quarter of a million out of his business, how did that happen, Jeannie? And it was like, it happened step by step over time over the last year. <laughs> Okay, um, but he was like, how did that happen? So I'm not asking you to do extra work. I'm asking you to uh, do the work you're doing now with me and my collateral and all my stuff in there, okay? And I often, I will always say, actually, I say to my clients when I work with them strategically, because I've learned this over time, I say, now, I won't necessarily ask you to work harder, but I will ask you to make harder decisions. Oh my goodness, that is so true. That is a geniusism. That is mine and it is so true. And so um, here's what I want you to promise me. And first off, thank you to the community member that emailed me and actually shared with me that 
she felt like she couldn't do this, you know, another year program. And actually, I shared something with her and I want to share this with you too. And any feedback I get from you allows me to create this kind of content to help you move the needle, okay? So what I said to her is something that a friend taught me, goodness gracious, it was probably 12 years ago or maybe 11, 12 years ago. And it was re relating to the fact that I'd paid for some daycare and then I decided to take my son out, right, for various reasons. And she said to me, well, I'm glad you're not one of those people that thinks, well, I paid for a punch in the face, now I want my punch in the face, yeah? So it is natural as, as humans if we've paid for something, even if it's crap, to want to keep going with it because we paid for it. So if you've paid for a website, or social media, or a brochure, or any kind of help in your business, like standard operating procedures, like we have paid for stuff in my practice, like I have tested and measured stuff, I have paid tens of thousands of dollars, probably well over hundreds of thousands of dollars testing stuff, I have paid for punches in the face in order to serve you up the stuff that works. Yeah, the final versions of everything, yeah, of how you build a website, of brand, of everything so that you don't have to waste the time and money and get the punches in the face, okay? So if you try things, yeah, and you're like, that's not working or, oh, okay, so Jeannie showed me how if I talk about what rather than why, I'm going to miss opportunities, yeah? People buy why we do what we do, not what we do. So the saying goes, uh, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Why do you exist in the eyes of your client? Um, people buy thriving business, not bookkeeping. Bookkeeping is the vehicle you get in, yeah, to drive to destination why, destination benefit, destination outcome, okay? So if you've paid for stuff and it's not working or you realize why it's not working, you need to walk away. Don't be the person who says, I paid for my punch in the face, I want my punch in the face, okay? So there's that. So back to that, you know, you're in your practice and you're doing it. And so let's say, you know, you're working, that prospective client came through, you're going to be able to offer up an outcome billing productized service. So if you're currently hourly billing and you're selling what you do, features and functions, then immediately you're going to be able to do it on the job, implement on the fly a productized service with an outcome bill attached and you're going to stack your value in a way that means that PC is prepared to onboard without price as a priority. So it's going to be on the job implementation using those assets. Okay, I'll rinse and repeat education via podcast, Assets are all in the academy to use on the job, implementation, yeah, on the fly, on the job, and then you've got the team and support. So the team behind you, so I'm like your sales and marketing and management team, yeah, behind you um, that you wouldn't conceivably be able to recruit and pay yourself, and then the support of the whole community, headquarters, but don't underestimate the support of the entire private Facebook community. So I could give you a million examples of the things that you would do on the job in your practice leveraging my collateral, yeah, that, that you get in the program. But what I'm going to finish up with now is that all I want you to do is promise me that if you, while, if you're not in the program, while you are running your bookkeeping practice, so if you identify, for example, you know what, I really need to do A or B or C, I want you to think about asking me, Jeannie, is that included in the program so that you can compare paying someone else, yeah, to create whatever you need to what's inside the program? Because I know for the program fee, yeah, so for what you pay over a year, and I give you the ability to pay it weekly only because I wanted to make it cash flow affordable to as many bookkeepers as possible and I wanted to allow you to get the return early. So let's say you get the whole return in a month. You're like, oh my God, one action and I made an extra five grand, then that's going to allow you to pay for the program in advance over time. You're going to have the cash flow from getting the return on investment. All I want you to promise me is that you will... Ask the question so that rather than go and spend 
a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, and more uh, on something that is already inside the program, tested, measured, proven to give you results. Yeah, you won't go paying for something that in isolation costs you as much as the program, yeah, or will end up being a punch in the face. Gosh, I have used that forever these days since I learned it early on. And so, my friends, if you could hear the passion in my voice there, <laughs> that's just because it breaks my heart to know that a bookkeeper will go and waste time and money on something that I know that I can give you, yeah, in the program that will give you the results and I give you a money back guarantee. Like no marketing agency is going to do that. We have built standard operating procedures in different ways in different platforms before and literally got a punch in the face and walked away. I was told by a really well-known um, bookkeeper or she, she put us in front of someone who does SOPs and I bought into their stuff. I spent about 10 grand because they said, you know, workflow maps are the way to go and you should do it this way. We did it all. We went from what we were using to what they were using. It was a punch in the face that is built for big business and not for us. So again, that's just an example of something we've tested and measured and gone down rabbit holes to bring you what we know is the simplest, most beautiful system for you to use. And with SOPs, we give you two options. You've got the manual kind of system and then you've got uh, train you all as well, okay? So that, my friends, is a wrap on helping you to just self-assess how the program can help you without actually spending really much more time at all, right? Any more time that you're going to spend on any activity that you need to spend in your practice, you are not going to spend extra time. You are just going to do it with the material that we give you while you are working day to day. Okay, so love to hear your comments, questions, suggestions dropped into the Facebook uh, group. And if you are less comfortable with that, just drop me an email. Love hearing from you. Absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have a question you'd like answered on my podcast, please email me. Hello at the strategic bookkeeper dot global. Did you know we have a private Facebook group called the Strategic Bookkeepers Way? There you'll find bookkeepers just like you on the same journey where you can ask questions and get support. You can find more resources and how to work with me at the strategicbookkeeper.global. All the links are in the show notes. Have a prosperous week and I'll see you in the next episode.